If you care for the nature, go live in a densely populated city. Looks like an oxymoron? Yes, it may sound like one. However, there is a hidden message behind these words. There is virtually no human endeavor that is environment friendly, though the magnitude may differ. Hence, the only way for mankind to protect Mother Nature is to stay away from it. Ancient Indian texts have always marveled at Mother Nature and captured its essence in these three words Satyam, Shivam and Sundaram which means sustainable, efficient and aesthetic. All discussion about planning human settlement, especially the densely populated urban areas, is inspired by these three elements of nature. A. Sustainability Just like self-sustaining Mother Nature, a smart city has to pass this first test in the following ways. 1. Ecological Sustainability Availability of natural resources like water, climatic conditions, landmass and green cover and matching them with our population goals is foremost. We cannot have more people and less water in the area. 2. Economic Sustainability Assessment of cost of sustenance for a population in a given terrain and climate on a long-term basis is also foremost. 3. Political Sustainability any human settlement once created needs to be maintained by either an elected body of individuals such as a municipal corporation or a nominated one for sustainability in governance on a long-term basis. B. Efficiency Post-sustainability assessment comes the real crux of human creativity in terms of planning the physical infrastructure which must be efficient against these parameters. One. Logical land use zones considering water reservoirs, greens, slopes and terrain, economic, residential and industrial activity, entries, exits and traffic movements. 2. Comprehensive building bylaws considering land use, construction technologies, building usage, parking, building heights and so on. 3. Planning for efficient public and private transportation in terms of vehicular, pedestrian, goods and mass transportation through buses or metro rails. 4. Social infrastructures like parks, schools, spaces for recreation and public gatherings, sports and cremation or burial grounds. 5. Planning for public amenities such as electrical power, communication channels like data cables, mobile phone towers and similar services. 6. Providing healthcare spaces for both private and public health. 7. Installing efficient sewage and garbage disposal systems including waste recycling. 8. Planning socio-cultural centers such as stadiums, theaters, temples and similar places of worship. 9. Providing municipal services such as registration of birth, death, marriage, property, regulating issuance of driving license and similar public offices. 10. Planning housing and care for animals whether domestic or wildlife around the area. 11. Installing essential services like law and order, public safety such as firefighting and disaster management. 12 providing administrative offices for governance of the city to house municipal or other public services officials. C. Aesthetic considerations As inspired by Mother Nature, apart from sustainability and efficiency considerations, it is of paramount importance that a city, as we plan, must also look good and fit these aesthetic parameters. 1. Control of building elevations through building bylaws so that they reflect the architectural heritage of the society. 2. Designing public squares and decorating with sculptures and similar elements. 3. Controlling and regulating commercial signages. 4. Designing homogeneous public signages. 5. In essence, the urban areas may ideally be planned to reflect the cultural heritage of a society. Wow, this is indeed quite intricate. Urban planning seems to be a multifaceted discipline 
encompassing elements from arts, sciences, technology, culture and also management. Infrastructure and governance of a city are similar to hardware and software of computer systems. So did we miss anything? Yes, the most essential of all these considerations is the population or the people that inhabit an urban space or a city. Any city is just like an organic living being. It has a brain in the form of governance areas, a heart in the form of cultural centers, blood vessels in the form of waterworks and nerves in the form of communication and transportation lines. Hence, cities are not planned for cars and traffic, but for people who inhabit them. And as it is said that God made the country and man made the town. Any city is a direct reflection of the people who inhabit it, their culture, their civic sense, their creativity and aspirations. A city is only as smart as its citizens.